Why do we age and can we prevent it? A question that probably all human beings ask themselves. If you watch to the end of this video, I will tell you what you as an individual can do to help the faster development of life prolonging technologies and how we can avoid the problems that can come with them. If you are not familiar with the work of David Sinclair, you should definitely check it out. He is a Harvard professor and brilliant scientist who works in the field of aging and has already made some significant discoveries that could lead not only to the point where we could stop the aging process, but even be able to reverse it. David Sinclair is definitely not the only scientist working on the development of new technologies to slow down the aging process. If you listen, for example, to his podcast, he talks about a huge movement of scientists and people interested in the topic. This is just the beginning. This is the, the early days of flight. Uh, we're just learning how this works. But very rapidly over the next few years, we're going to learn what else can reverse the age of the body. Certainly the blood clock, which is what's being used right now. And there are reports of people going back 10, even 20 years with certain treatments. So this is a golden age for aging research. On the other hand, there are a lot of people that say that messing with the way nature works could lead to some problems. And very often this proves to be the case, especially when we don't think about the consequences. So before we talk about how we can live longer, let us first talk about some of the problems that could come with it. To those who can hear me, I say, do not despair. The misery that is now upon us is but the passing of greed, the bitterness of men who fear the way of human progress. The hate of men will pass and dictators die, and the power they took from the people will return to the people. And so long as men die, liberty will never perish. Of course, Charlie Chaplin had a great point there. And this could prove to be a disastrous outcome if... For example, a dictator becomes practically immortal and rules for thousands of years, torturing humanity. So one of the things that we need to do parallel to the development of life extension technologies is we need to put a lot more effort into understanding how our brains work so that we actually know how to avoid the development of psychopathic tendencies and consequently the development of future immortal dictators. As you can see in my video called There Are No Bad People, I believe that someday we will be able to repair, let's call them broken psyches, the way we are now able to fix a software problem on a computer. If we want to live longer, we better know how to do it with a healthy mind, otherwise it could prove to be torture for us and for the people around us. Another problem that people very often talk about is overpopulation. But I think this probably won't be an issue, since by the time we are able to prolong human life significantly, we would probably have been able to expand to other planets, and will even need more people to do that. Now that we've talked about the two probably biggest problems that we could face, let's talk about what we could do today if we want to live longer. Besides getting to know the work of scientists like David Sinclair and living a healthy life, I would argue that everyone can do something that could prove to be important for prolonging their life and the life of the people around them. What everyone could do is popularise the topic as much as possible. The way progress works is people get excited about something, they talk about it, more people get involved, more ideas are born, and finally, more rich people invest in those ideas and they become a reality. So if you become familiar with a topic and tell your friends about it, this could be the first step of the butterfly effect that could lead to the final discovery. And if not, it would certainly be a part of the process. Amazon founder Jeff Bezos has reportedly invested in a new anti-aging startup that hopes to prolong human life. There are probably a lot more people that are beginning to work in this direction, but of course, the more people get involved, the better. 
Imagine how much faster we could develop the life-prolonging technologies if everyone was as excited about that as they were about the Super Bowl or the World Cup. Of course, liking and sharing this video will help us spread the word. We hope to not only talk about the exciting new developments in technology and medicine, but also bring further awareness of how important it is to be prepared for problems that could come with them. One of the major problems that we believe stops the progress of humanity and brings uncertainty about our future is the lack of free quality education. That is why we have created Nolaxi, a free platform for educational videos. If this topic interests you, you are welcome to visit us at nolaxi.com. Share your opinion, if you like, in the comments below. And subscribe for more future thoughts.